Hi all, so today's video is just going to be a quick how I do my slick back hair kind of tutorial I suppose. It's very easy, very simple and I just wanted to pop this up because um, when I cut my hair and I wanted to start styling it slick back, I actually found it really hard to find any videos um, or many videos on YouTube that were specifically for women or female or female identifying people's hair. Um, slick back and short. A lot of them are just more like men's hair um, so I wanted to put something up that um, like if you were looking for that kind of video as well that you could find it. It's really easy and it doesn't take a lot to um, effort or knowledge of hair to do. Uh, also I totally forgot to actually film an intro for this video so that's why I'm standing here kind of rambling just in my room um, while I was editing I realized that I yeah forgot to film one. So a little bit more casual of an intro and then the more professional I suppose version of videos coming next. So stay tuned if you want to see that and yeah thanks guys for watching. Alright so I am fresh out of the shower now. Uh, basically in the shower what I've done is I've just made sure that my hair is completely saturated. I haven't washed it I, because I do like to do this style on like three to four day old hair just because it gives it a bit of um, like grip from the oil from your skin. Um, so a little bit of dirty hair is fine. I also like to do this look when I um, like need to wash my hair but don't want to because this look will last me like a day. Um, the day that I do it, I'll sleep in it and then I'll wake up and if I sort of like wet it a little bit, I can sort of get it back to the spot. So it usually lasts me about two days. But basically what you'll need for this look um, is quite simple. Bottle of water. I you don't necessarily need this, but I have been out of the shower for a little while now. So my hair is starting to dry a little bit. So I'm just going to re-wet it. You also need a comb. I like fine tooth combs. Um, you could go like a wide tooth comb as well, but um, I kind of like those tiny little like... Uh, streaks of hair we can see where the combs run through so a comb um, well one with those little spikes on the back as well is really good because it helps you sort of separate the hair a bit better um, also you'll need a gel my preference on gel is something that is see-through and really thick this stuff dries like a rock um, it's like that like classic 90s clear gel this one is called shockwaves extreme freestyle gel it is a number five hold and you also just need some uh, hairspray this is just the Schwarzkopf <laughs> uh, super styling lacquer and it is also a five um, hold spray because just the more holds you can get the more the less likely it is to sort of fall out through the day okay so what I'm just gonna do to start off with is I'm going to spray down my hair again uh, like I said I've been out of the shower for a little while now so I'm just gonna re-wet it just kind of moving everything around to really get into the roots as well and then just with a comb I'm gonna start brushing the water through just to make sure it's really sort of in there all through the sides so just brushing it all back so it's nice and wet and you can really see that it's once it already starts to take its shape then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the gel now one thing I really will stress to you is don't be afraid of how much you put in the more the better obviously if it's like like you've got gel just like dropping down your back into your shirt and stuff it's probably too much but like a good healthy blob I don't know if y'all can see that uh, a big healthy blob is like the perfect amount so then I'm kind of move it around all in my hands and then just with no rhyme or reason I'm just gonna start brushing it through <laughs> So next step is getting your comb again and just again brushing that gel through. I think I'm just going to take this off because I don't really feel like it's dripping anymore. So I'm just going to brush that through and you can see as I'm brushing it how the comb is starting to separate the hair into those little fine, fine, <laughs> um, those little fine like stringy pieces. I really like that look. Okay, so your options for your hair, at least what I've been experimenting with lately is I've got sort of like um, three kind of main looks that I'll do with this gel. The first one is what I've already done, which is brushing it all the way back. Um, I do really like this like fully slicked back out of my face kind of look. Um, as you all can see, I do have a widow's peak. So um, sometimes I like this look, other times I don't. I kind of sometimes wish I had my hairline was a little bit more rounded, but learning to love myself and my hairline um, so that's option one is the completely fully slicked back the next option would be and I'll need my little mirror for this one um, would be to do sort of an off to the side 
part. So what I like to do is just sort of start combing the hair off to the side until I sort of feel like I like its position. Um, this is sometimes where the pointed edge of your comb can come in handy. So we just want to sort of get a nice part going on there. And what I like to do when I'm combing the front is I like to press the top of the comb on the top, sort of like press it into my hair, which helps flatten out the uh, flatten out the um, fringe a little bit more instead of having it sort of trying to stick off. Honestly, it's all about just sort of manipulating the hair until it sits right. With this much gel in it, and as well as the hairspray when we put that in, you're gonna have a lot of like ability to just kind of push it where you want to, to get myself in the eye. So that would be the second look. Um, again, I'm not uh, refining these until I pick the one that I want. So this is the middle sort of comb off to the side. The next look would be to brush everything super forward. So brush everything forward. And then this is probably the one that needs the most preciseness uh, because we're going to be doing a center part. So I just kind of pop my comb in the middle of my forehead and just kind of keep trying to like bring as much over as I can. Everything off the sides and then at this point if I were to stick with this style I could start to position the middle of the fringe how I want. Sometimes I actually like to spike it in, um, make myself feel like I'm from in sync or something, just like that. But I don't think I'm going to do this look today, but as you can see, that's sort of a rough way that I would position this one. Again, a lot of it's just having fun with the spikes and just kind of manipulating the hair until you feel like it, it fits you well. And the last look, which I'm not going to be able to show you, but I will put a picture up somewhere, um, is finger waving. My housemate is a hairdresser and she has done this on me before, but basically um, I'm going to have to put a picture up because I just can't do it on myself, but she grabs pieces of my hair, twirls them all beautiful across my face and the sides of my face and it is amazing. And one day I'd like to be able to do it, but right now it's just so complicated for me and I don't know how to do that. So we're just going to stick with our other basic style. A little bit more gel through my hair. Okay, so the look that we're going to do today is the easiest one. It takes no effort at all, causes me the least trouble. It's just the full slick back look. Um, I've really been enjoying doing this a lot lately. Um, and it, like I said, it is the most simple. So really, I'm just kind of going from the center of my hair, brushing it back off to the sides, sort of trying to get each piece to sit where I want it to. Lastly, I'm just going to get some more gel on my fingers and just put it into the sides of my hair. And then, grabbing those little side bits, just going to sort of pinch them. And I like to pinch them in towards my cheekbone. Um, I just think it sort of highlights my cheekbone a little bit. Same on the other side. So the last little thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my comb into my under cuts that I'm growing out and just sort of brush them down so they look cute and done. I'm gonna grab my hairspray and do not be shy with this um, because you need a lot of this to help it stay in. So I'm just gonna start spraying from the front towards the back, trying not to get my plants sprayed on because I don't know what that's gonna do to them. The other thing you can do if you want, um, sometimes, which I've done, is bring like a little piece down if you want to go for something kind of cute like that. Um, I'm looking at it and I think I actually might do that because I haven't done that in a little while. So I'm just going to bring a little piece down. So now that we have our hair fully slicked back and 
we have this little feature piece here. Lastly, what you want to do is just let it dry. Um, you can use a hairdryer to dry it, so sort of just holding the hairdryer a little bit of a distance away and just kind of focusing it all around the hair evenly until it dries. Um, if you have time, you can just let it dry naturally. Once it's sort of got all the gel and hairspray in it, it should just start setting there and not wanting to shift. Um, so I'm going to let mine dry naturally and in the meantime I'm going to do my makeup, pop on an outfit, come back and show you all what it looks like. Alright y'all, so I'm back, I'm dressed up, I'm feeling so much better. Um, I feel like whenever I don't like do it like I look um, or like get dressed up for a video, I'm a little bit just like chill, like kind of quiet. But now that I'm like on my shit, feeling good, um, dressed up, I'm ready to show y'all the hair. That is the hair. I feel like this is probably my favorite hairstyle whenever I want to feel like a bit more kick-ass. I feel like it's got very femme fatale kind of vibes to it and it is really easy to do so just give it a go. Um, it took me a couple tries to sort of get it perfected um, but it's really not that hard at all. If you all have any questions about the products that I use just feel free to pop a comment below and let me know what you think of the look as well and I just wanted to thank you all so much for watching and I guess I'll see you in my next one. Bye!